actually planning on vlogging or anything today but it has been so far the coziest Sunday because as I'm sure many of you saw whether you're in the UK or you're not we've had snow and when you're in the UK and you get some snow it's a very exciting experience because it's a very rare occurrence so I have honestly spent the majority of my day so far just staring out the window, just admiring the snow, because I love snow. Like, it's it, it takes a lot for things to make me truly happy at the moment, but snow is just one of those things that just, I don't know, it just gets to my soul, and it makes my soul, although it's snow is cold, it makes my soul really warm and happy. So I honestly just, other than this morning going for a standard food shop, um, and having a bit of lunch and taking Peach for a walk which even then it's Peach's first time experiencing snow and at first it was really confusing her but uh, I think she got to just just deal with it in the end but I honestly just spent the majority of my day just staring out the window like it's not even snowing anymore right now but I'm still staring out the window because I know we do more so I'm slowly waiting for it to happen. I <laughs> saw so, seeing as it is turning out to be a really cosy Sunday. I kind of had randomly some cosy bits planned anyway for today. I was thinking of making banana bread, which these days is like a standard lockdown thing anyway, but I only do have some bananas that need throwing away, but I don't want to throw them away. So I might make a nice little banana loaf, so you can join me there. Um, the other day I randomly started playing Animal Crossing again because I've been quite into watching Twitch lately and my friend Michaela has got a stream. Um, if you want to check her out, I'll leave her links down below. She is so lovely to watch. She's the loveliest person. So if you want to watch her, I highly recommend. But she plays a lot of Animal Crossing and I haven't played for like five months, I want to say. Like I was pretty obsessed with playing Animal Crossing during the first lockdown like I was really addicted to it played it now every day but then once I sort of finished my island and did all the bits I need to do I sort of lost interest a little bit but since watching her I decided I want to start playing again and uh, when I last played it I was trying so hard if you play Animal Crossing you'll know what I mean when I say this or I mean you might not agree but I hate Tammy. She really gets on my nerves. She was on my island. And even though she was on the first village on the island, she just wouldn't leave. As much as I was trying to get rid of her, she wouldn't leave. But when I logged on the other day, I see Tammy with the little cloud above her head. And so I was like, oh my God. When I spoke to her, she only wants to bloody leave my island, doesn't she? And she leaves. She would have left today. She was packing her boxes yesterday. So I need to go on a little villager hunt and find myself a new cute villager. This is what my life is, this is how exciting it is. This is just, it's just lockdown life, isn't it? Banana bread and Animal Crossing. Um, and I've always just done the exciting thing of descaling the kettle. So, you know, I saved you guys the excitement of that because I know that would have been too much excitement. But yeah, I'm just planning on having a really cosy evening. And, you know, in Lucy standards, we are filming once again, late afternoon. And I just, I was, I was feeling so happy today. Like it's the first, day for a while but I felt really happy just inside so I thought why not vlog and bring you guys along in my joy because why not I like talking to you guys I like doing this so why the heck not I'm still just chilling here staring out the window like I know there's stuff I want to be doing I could do want to start my banana bread do you know what else makes me really happy about today we've got snow today We've got just that general cosy day feeling, which is always a win. I've got cottage pie for dinner, which on days like today is just like the perfect cosy 
a homely meal so I'm excited to have that for dinner and I'm just I'm just feeling content today today is a good day because I'm really sad I wanted to film yesterday I was originally going to vlog yesterday I had planned to but my last video if you've watched it that was actually meant to go up the week before but I had so many problems with that bloody video that it was getting to the point where when I first edited it, because I originally edited, edited it, it was ready to go, started to upload it to YouTube and it just corrupted, completely went. It went onto YouTube and it's just like, it said failed or there was a problem. I was like, what? Went to go back onto the editing system, wouldn't let me open it, it was gone. I even though I had all the clips on, my phone and everything, gone. Couldn't get it back. So I re-edited it a second time. So luckily I had filmed the first half and saved it and that was still fine. But then when I tried to edit the rest and put it on together, it just it just went. So the second time I tried to re-edit it. So this time I tried to re-edit just the second half by itself and try and save that. That again corrupted, wouldn't save. By this point I was losing my mind and I was so close to just giving up because the first time I edited it, I loved the video. It came out so well. And don't get me wrong, I'm still happy with it now and I hope you've all enjoyed it, but it it was just it just weren't happening. But finally, yesterday, I managed to get it up, completely edited, completely finished, and it's up. So I couldn't vlog yesterday because I just physically I didn't it just wouldn't let me. The space wasn't happening. So I just wanted to talk about yesterday because I feel like it's probably a very relatable subject. So a lot of you have probably been aware. But this week, although by the time you're watching it, it would have been last week, the week prior, it is sort of smear awareness week. Now, I was actually due my smear test last year. Should I put a little PG warning here? Smear talk, woman talk. Anyway, I was due my smear test last year. Like, I actually got my letter during the first lockdown. But last year... As I've, I think I've mentioned before, my mental health just took the biggest kick I've ever experienced. So, especially my anxiety and things, like it just, it, it was just stopping me in so many ways. Although I've had a smear test before, like three, five years ago, however long it is, how long the gap is, I have had it done before. So I know what to expect, I know what happens. But last year, my anxiety was just like, nope, it's not happening, you're not doing it which I know is really naughty, but I know so many other people are the same. I know so many people put it off, so many people don't want to have it done. Although it's something we obviously all should have done. It's only a quick thing. It does, it, it's one of those things, it's just embarrassment. It's just, it's uncomfortable. It's just, it's just not something, let's face it, any woman is excited to book in, is it really? We put it off for the whole year. Um, and it was only thanks to my sister, that I actually finally went ahead and booked it in and I went yesterday. So if it wasn't for her persuading me, I probably still wouldn't have booked it in, but I did it. And all week, my anxiety has been through the roof. Like I've been really in bad moods all week. I've been feeling really ill all week, like headaches and everything because I was just, even though I was trying not to think about it, it was in the back of my mind and I was aware it was coming up. And to make matters worse, I had to go to a doctor's that I've never been to before. So I didn't know any of the staff there. I didn't know the environment. Like, for me, that's a really big thing. So that was making it more scary for me, I think. Finally went ahead and did it yesterday. And I'm so glad I did. Like, all morning I was feeling sick. I was like, I think I was shaking. Like, I was just in the worst way possible. Like, everything was just like, Ten to the dozen but I went and the nurse I had she was so lovely she put me so at ease and she did it like that like the first time I had it done I had a really um, not unpleasant but a really uncomfortable experience like it, it I don't know like I, I probably remember it worse than it was but it just wasn't that pleasant but this time the woman was talking to me like as all the nurses do like she just she was just settling me so well um, and I even mentioned about my anxiety and things and she literally did it like that. Like I barely felt anything. I didn't even feel the swabby part, which sometimes I think you can feel a bit, I don't know if this is a bit, you know, too much information, but 
I didn't bleed, which the first time I think I did. It was just generally, this isn't probably the right word, but a pleasant experience. Like, obviously, nobody wants to get their bits out for a total stranger. But honestly, this nurse was so lovely and it was so quick. And I, I was always just like, oh, have you done it? Like, I didn't even feel the apparatus go in or anything. Like, it was a really okay experience. So all I'm saying is, if you're due one, if you've already put it off, go and book in, just get it done. You will feel so much better for it. And at least that, that also puts you at peace of mind knowing you've had it done. You know, touch wood, majority of us won't get anything from it. It'll be clear results, which is great. But obviously if there is anything that comes up, it's better you find out now than it too late, you know? Especially with, I think, the whole Jade Goody thing. Obviously that pushed a lot of people, but I think we need to think back to that and realise, although we don't want to, we should get it done. And um, I just urge you, if I can help at least one person persuaded to go and book it in, just go and do it. Like, you will feel so much better for it. But yeah, this is probably going to turn into another very chatty video like look at me I'm not I'm just sitting there like I've got I'm just so content guys I'm so content but yeah I just thought let's just vlog today bring you guys along with me just enjoy this cozy cozy Sunday and just spread those cozy vibes and just try and spread my current positive vibes PMA all the way <laughs> Okay, so the recipe I always only like to follow is 140 grams of softened butter. 140 grams of self-raising flour, 140 grams of caster sugar, two ripe bananas mashed, two large eggs whisked, and then a teaspoon of baking powder. Then this isn't required that like you can add anything you want to this recipe, but I like to add um, a little bit of vanilla extract. And when I'm feeling fancy, I'm gonna go all out. I also add some white chocolate chips because Banana loaf with white chocolate chips is just yum. It's so good. So, I mean, if you can read my writing and you want to try out this recipe, it's here if you want to try and, I don't know, write that down, pause it, write it down, you go ahead. But it's honestly, it's such an easy recipe. So I'm just going to put all of this into my KitchenAid. Excuse the towel things, but yeah, I'm going to do that and let's see how this goes. what I've just noticed is while I was filming my little pieces whilst making that banana loaf I did do a really nice little time lapse of me actually putting all sort of the ingredients into the KitchenAid etc and of course for some reason that bit decided it didn't want to save so it just randomly cuts into me adding like a bit of vanilla extract <laughs> and chocolate chips into the mix so um yeah, that seems a bit random, sorry about that. It's just, once again, as always, things decide to do their own thing and just not save. So, anyway, despite that, um, now that the cake is in the oven, I've just quickly washed up, because thankfully there wasn't a lot of washing from that. So, I think now, I'm quite hungry, so... I'm thinking I might make my dinner, enjoy that, 
then take my makeup off possibly treat myself to a little pamper of gelling my own nails for the first time ever so we'll see how that goes and then treat myself to a little bit of cake with a cup of tea and I still want to play a bit of Animal Crossing because I do need to find a new villager there's no way I'm just gonna let them give me another random one because they always give me such weird weird villagers that I don't want so I need to go do a little bit of traveling find a villager so I might even do that in bed get all cozy in bed and I feel like that'd be quite a nice way to finish the evening off so yeah but first up let's have some dinner which again should be nice and easy because my cottage was pre-made the husband made it for me so it's been in the freezer so I've just been defrosting it all day so all I have to do is bung that in the oven and I think I'll have a few peas with it and make some gravy so nice quick dinner but a yummy one at that so yeah let's get fed shall we dinner and I've decided that I'm going to gel my nails first before I take my makeup off because I wanted to. So I've never done, gelled my own nails before. I've gelled my sister's for her and I've painted my nails in the past but I've never gelled them myself but um, my mum aka Santa was kind enough to send me one of my presents because we didn't see my mum over Christmas obviously for obvious reasons um and we haven't exchanged presents yet either because we want to do it all together when we finally can so she did send me just one of them because i did ask santa for a gel nail kit um and i still had christmas gels on which i only took off like last week um so she kindly sent it to me so that i can redo my own nails and not have to still have like Christmas nails in like February, March time. Plus they were like halfway up my nails, like growing out really bad. So um, she got me this gel kit, the Sensation Nail Kit, which don't know what it's gonna be like, we'll find out. It comes with a little, little lamp. Um, and it did come with a red, like it comes with all the like gel cleanser and base and top coat and a primer and 
it comes with everything. Um, but I didn't really want to go for red because um, red's not always my kind of colour. So I did go on Amazon and just buy um, this brand called Beetles. It seemed to have good reviews. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, which just comes with a black and a white gel polish colours. So because, you know, it's me, I thought we'd go for black. And they're like full size bottles as well, which is good. Since taking my gels off, they were really long when I took them off. Like, my natural nails have never been that long. Um, but my original plan was when I took my gels off last week, I was then going to gel them straight away so that they wouldn't all snap and break. But I didn't. So they have all broken and snapped. So I'm going to file them all right back down because some of my nails are short, some are still lots of length to them. So I'm just going to file them all right down and start again basically so yeah let's um let's give this a go and see see what happens i suppose could go well could not we will find out <laughs> that is my nails prepped i am back to tiny little nubbins but like i say we're starting fresh we're going to start fresh let them grow because for some reason my nails are always really weak they either peel or they snap really low down or they're just not the strongest so i thought if i start fresh like we're literally talking nubby nubbins then at least they can all grow back together at the same length and not all be odd length so now that that's done we are gonna go in and actually put the actual gel on. So we need to do base coat, then color, times two, I believe, and then top coat. So while I'm doing this, I'm just sitting watching YouTube. So I'm catching up with some videos. Like I've just watched my sister's video. I'm gonna watch a bit of Mark Ferris and a bit of Gemma Louise Miles. And then once my nails are done, I can, um, Go and take this face off. I've already chucked my hair up out of the way just so that I'm ready to go and it doesn't actually get in jail at the same time. So yeah, let's uh let's try and get these coloured and see how this goes.
the gels are done and I'm actually pretty impressed with that, you know, like considering this probably isn't like the most expensive gel kit in the world or the most expensive lamp or what have you. One, I'm really impressed with these Beatles gels. They are really nice. Like they set really well and are quite easy to use. And like, so I'm excited to when my nails get a bit longer, maybe play about with a bit of nail art. But I mean, they're probably not the neatest gels in the world. I mean, I have got me nubbins back, but we'll just ignore that. This can be like a progress video, you know? So here's where we started. And a few weeks down the line, we'll see how they grow and we can make them look pretty again. But I'm just one of those people, I hate having bare nails. Like, I don't care what length they are. Like, don't get me wrong, I prefer a longer nail. But if I've got nubbins and they're short, I hate it for like a child or just don't like it. Whereas I feel like even if they're short, just having them painted makes a world of difference. So I'm really, I'm really impressed with that. Like, they're shiny. And obviously being jerk won't chip so much. So especially at work and things, I know they're going to last a lot longer. So yeah, I'm genuinely really impressed with that. But while I have me sitting here doing this, Peach for some reason does not like me doing anything. If I'm not paying her attention, doesn't matter what I'm doing, if it doesn't involve her, she don't like it. So as soon as she saw me get the gel kit out, she ran upstairs. Um, and I keep hearing her running around and I'm unsure of what she's doing up there like I'm a bit scared of what she might be playing with because it's probably something she shouldn't have because all her toys are down here I think I just heard her throw up yeah yep yeah, she definitely I don't know if you heard that I apologize if you did she definitely just threw up Oh. oh no, I hate dog sick, why is dog sick so gross? I go and um, have the joyful job of cleaning that up. One tip I do have for you, if you're going to do your nails at home by yourself and you're going to sit on the floor, don't wear black jeans because they're now no longer black, they're covered in white nail shavings and things and um, yeah I'm just... Oh. I guess I better go and clean up that um, dog puke. Joys of being a dog mum. I mean, I'm sure it's much worse with an actual human baby, but dog sick still isn't fun. Oh. So, seeing as today is a cosy day, I've decided to go for four cosy vibes and, of course, put on my hoodie, which, let's face it, they're not the most flattering shaped item of comfy wear but they are the coziest things ever like things is a favorite gift my husband has ever bought me that is it's just it's just so cozy like if you own one of these you know how cozy they are like they're just they're, they're, they're just massive like it's, it's basically just a giant duvet that you wear around the house and it's great so i've put this on just because i'm sticking with the full cozy vibes you know it's time to take my makeup off um, this lighting is not very flattering, is it? And always having my hair up like this because I just look like a baby bean. But we're going to roll with it because it's a cosy day. It's what we do, right? So I thought, as I'm taking off my makeup, I'll just sort of share a few of the products that I'm using at the moment. Which, to be completely honest, I am usually a Lizelle girl. Like, Lizelle just works well for my skin. I sort of got the whole using Lizelle for my mum because my mum always gets mistaken for being like my sister like well if like me and Rock so my sister were out with my mum even since we're all sisters but she's sorry to say this out loud mum but in her 50s but she still looks so young and she's always using Lizelle and it's just it seems to work well in our family's jeans so usually I do use it but I ran out just before Christmas and I didn't go and buy any more because normally I know I always get some for Christmas from my mum, but as I said earlier, I haven't seen my mum yet, so if she has bought me any, or did buy me any this year, I haven't got it yet. So I also haven't yet gone and bought myself any, because I thought, well, before I go and buy any more, I'll use up what I'm already using. So I've currently been using, seeing a lot of people using, and I know a lot of people have loved it, and 
it's the Body Shop um, Caramel Cleansing Butter, which I'm not gonna lie, I was genuinely amazed with this product. Like, it literally does melt off your makeup. Like, your makeup comes off so easily with this. Like, even like mascara, like with a lot of products I do find, getting mascara off is just like the hardest work when it comes to taking makeup off. Does make, make, make them off? Makeup off. Um, whereas this just makes it so easy. Now, the only thing at the moment is I've been using this and then I've also been using your basic simple face wash because I do have quite sensitive skin and my in, my in? It's getting late guys, I can't speak anymore. My skin does, it, it makes me aware if it doesn't like something basically, let's put it that way, like it gets quite dry really easily. I do tend to get like small patches of psoriasis around my eyes and things. So I do always sometimes come back to this, but I don't know if it's using these together or it's just where I'm on new sort of medication, like whether it's to do with my anxiety tablets or the fact I used to be on the injection, whereas now I'm on a pill because obviously because COVID they weren't doing the injection anymore, so I had to go on a pill. So I don't know if it's to do with that or just general my moods and whatnot at the moment, but my skin is awful at the moment. Like, luckily I think the camera hides a lot of it. Um, especially when I've got the ring light on. Um, but you'll probably notice more when I do take my makeup off, like my chin at the moment, like you can kind of see it, it's just constantly covered in like spots, redness, like and it keeps like slowly going, which again, it could also be to do with masks, because I do wear masks quite a lot. It should, I feel like it's gonna be a number of things at the moment, but my skin isn't loving life at the moment. So, although I am trying to use this up, which to be fair, I am very nearly done with it. Like, look at that. It's just you just got the edge left. Like, this, I am loving this, but I feel like I am in need of my Lizelle again soon because I know my skin appreciates that, whereas my skin at the moment just isn't, just isn't appreciating life in general. I'm probably going to stick with this <laughs> until I actually get paid for one and then I can buy myself some more Lizelle. So, until that moment, I'm going to start with. Take my makeup so because what I the other reason I use this with the simple is because I find when I use this because it is like a uh it's called a butter but it's quite like a not a gel but I don't quite know how you ex like explain the consistency of this but I do find that sometimes when I take my makeup off, off with it it does kind of feel like I've still got a bit of like not a film on my face, but like it feels like it sort of it gets bits to get left like in my eyebrows or so I, that's why I then like to go with just a little bit of simple just to then properly wash my face and make sure all products off. So that's like my comp at the moment. And then depending on my skin, I'll use obviously a moisturizer or something as well. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with my cleansing butter. Just take this off and then go in with my simple see how my skin's looking and then go from there as to whether or not I'm using a strong moisturiser, a not so strong moisturiser, no moisturiser. We'll just go from there. This product, I mean, I do tend to use a fair amount of it on my face because I'm just one of these people, like like I said earlier, I, like getting mascara off is just not fun for anyone, is it? So I do like to focus a lot of it around my eyes so I do tend to place big blobs underneath as well as some blobs above my eye which I know this probably seems really excessive but I've sort of found what works for me so I do big blobs around my eyes because you almost have to with this you have to sort of heat up with your fingers because it's like a solid a solid lump basically like it's like a really soft lard if you like <laughs> easily melts off your foundation and concealer or eyeliner and all that it's just I have to actually get properly in there when it comes to actually taking off my mascara. Yeah, I'm just gonna rub all this in and then wa wash it off with a flannel and then go in with my simple. I've just looked at myself in the camera and <laughs> this looks really suspect, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll move on from that.
thing as anybody else just finds washing their face so satisfying. <laughs> like, it's mad how clean you feel just from washing your face. I feel fresh as a daisy. Now, I do enjoy this simple wash. Like, it does feel lovely. It does make your face feel really clean. I only use like a tiny bit, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure how my face and skin really feeling at the moment. I don't. I do apologise, guys. This is. I mean, I feel like I did pre-warn you. This was going to be a really chatty vlog, but I feel like all I have done is actually just talk at you guys. <laughs> Which, I'm not gonna lie, I do like because, you know, I don't really talk to many people these days. <laughs> Ugh, I do apologise for the bags. Unfortunately, that's just, that's just my face. It's just what I was unfortunately gifted down the family line. Just dark circles all day, every day. Which, you know, great fun. <laughs> Thanks, Grandad. It's awful. Like, even around my eyebrows. Like, does anybody else get weird, like, red spotting around their eyebrows? Like, I haven't had them wax since. I don't know how I get my nails done. It was like the week before we went back into lockdown before Christmas. So it must have been December. Yeah, I think it was about two, two weeks before Christmas. I lasted them wax. It's not to do with that. And I'm barely plucking them at the moment because. Who needs to? It's lockdown life, right? Even though I'm still going out for work, but... I don't know if you can see... Yeah, you can. Look at that. Look how bad it is at the moment. Why? Look, can you see that? Like, does anybody else get this? I literally had a full spot in my brow. Like, what is that? What is that? What, what are you doing to my skin? What have I done to deserve this? Because I ain't happy about it. I'll tell you that now. So I decided I am going to use a bit of moisturiser because... I am, my skin's just feeling a little bit dry and thirsty, you know, so one moisturiser I have really been liking at the moment actually is this one by Avant, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Avant, Avant, I got this in a glossy box and I've honestly fallen in love with it, which I'm happy about because it's a really good moisturiser, but I'm also sad about because this is one of those products that glossy put box put in their box that's like the higher end range of products so this is a very expensive moisturizer like if i'm not mistaken when i looked i want to say this was like for you do not I'm, i think this is like a full size product as well i'm pretty sure this is normally like 80 odd quid to buy so once this is gone this is gone your girl won't paying out 80 odd quid for a moisturizer because i'm not living that kind of lifestyle i can't afford that kind of lifestyle but while we have it we're going to enjoy it so yeah, this is the Avant Hyaluronic Vitamin C. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to attempt to say this and it's not going to be right, but Hyaluronic Vitamin C Lecithin? Lecithin, Marius? I know I'm saying that's so wrong. Aqua. And then, I don't know if I ever say this word either, right either. Jojoba oil? Jojoba oil? It's, I don't know how well you can see that, but if you can read that, then yeah, that's what we're going for. Great product, just, unless you're living that high style life, it's uh, not one I'd recommend buying on a regular basis, but to be fair, you don't need a lot of it, but this I feel like my skin does appreciate, which of course it does. Of course it's gonna appreciate all the blooming expensive stuff that I can't afford. We're gonna treat the skin tonight and just go for a little, uh, little moisturizing pamper because you know i feel like it just needs it in its life right now it's struggling you know it just needs a bit of love it's being neglected and i'm not neglecting it i'm trying to treat it as best i can but it's just not having it guys it's just not having it okay now the face is off i think Roxanne Villa, will you stop texting me while I'm filming? Uh, oh, she keeps popping up, popping up. So needy. If you see this, you're too needy. Go away. I'm only joking, I love you. Um, so now that I've got my makeup off, I think it's time to sample a little bit of that cake, that nice fresh banana loaf, make a cup of tea, and then we've got a date with Animal Crossing. 
So we're gonna go and get even more cozy in bed with Animal Crossing and we're going villager hunting. Are you excited? Cause I know I am. to read i actually highly recommend this this is the um one for sorrow the magpie society by zoe sug and amy carlock I, I can't say her last name so i'm sorry i don't want to murder it but yeah i highly recommend this it's if you're into sort of really i'd call it a thriller book i think which is my kind of read but i highly recommend it. it's really good i'm really enjoying it so yeah, I think I'm just going to read a little bit more of this. Have some snuggles with the pup. Because you like a good snuggle, don't you? And then probably have an early night and go to sleep. 
so thank you for joining me on this cozy day i hope you enjoyed how chatty it was <laughs> yeah generally enjoying a little cozy sunday with me whilst feeling positive and i hope it sort of gave you a little positive boost as well so yeah if you did enjoy it all the usual things my loves like comment down below of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to keep up to date with my videos then hit that little bell as well and you'll get notifications of every time I upload but generally I aim to upload every Sunday so if you want to keep track Sundays are your day so yeah thanks for joining me guys I hope you have a lovely week ahead and I will see you on the next one bye say bye <laughs> bye guys